Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the simple and quick method to updating RPCS3 from an old master version to the latest version which will be available on the RPCS3 website. Now since I myself have only just recently got into the usage of RPCS3, this PlayStation 3 emulator, I thought that this quick video would be very helpful for anyone who also wants to get involved in this emulation community. Please also be aware that this update method only works for the official builds released from the RPCS3 website and will not be functional with any privately made emulator versions. Okay, so let's get started with updating. As you can see, this is my current latest RPCS3 master build. Let's just quickly open it and you can see here that it is build 6692. However, when we update, we want to keep all of our settings and all of our game directories as shown here. Let's just quickly close this. And next, you want to come down to the RPCS3 website. And as you can see here, you can download the latest build from this website. Simply click here and it should begin downloading from AppFair. I'm simply going to save mine to my desktop and now we need to wait for it to download. Now that this has fully downloaded, Let's close this window and we can find it right here on my desktop. Next, you want to right click on it and using your extraction software, you want to extract it to a folder of its own. Here is the newest build of RPCS3. You can delete the zip file that you just downloaded if you wish. The next thing we want to do is open up our own master build. As you can see, I have mine labeled as RPCS3 latest master. Open up the folder you just downloaded and next you want to highlight and copy all of these files. Once you have these files copied, all you need to do is paste them over your previous old master folder and replace any files. And that's it. That's the simple and easy method to updating RPCS3. As you can see, my latest master is now 6694, the latest version at time of making this video, and all of my settings are still completely in place. As I previously said, this build right here is a private build. You will not be able to use this update method as this is an experimental build of RPCS3. As you can see right here, this is an experimental build. As you can see, when I click yes to open this file, you can see that it is using a completely different directory for all of my games and will be using completely different settings. So there you go guys, the quick and easy method to updating your RPCS3 version to its latest version from the RPCS3 website. As always, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.